Hey, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, help the channel grow. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's deal with the edit here. So if I click on edit, I have these edit sections here, that's nice. We don't need the image, so we can remove uh, the image thingy here. Edit cell, yes. What we really need, um, quantity, we can edit, we can edit amount. Total is auto-generated. Uh, cashier, oh, wait a minute. The cashier here just shows the cashier ID. We're supposed to see their name and stuff. Okay, we will change that, uh, no problem. But here uh, we have, um, let's be able to change the description, the quantity and the amount. Let's see, quantity and amount. Uh, barcode should not be changeable. Uh, this one, yes, that can be changeable, even though I don't see the relevance of changing that, but I will leave it there just in case you wanna change that. And uh, this is pretty much it. The quantity and the amount, usually that's all you need to change. Okay. So let me go to the cell edit and at the bottom here where we are seeing the image, this is where the image thingy is supposed to be. Since we have no images here, we will remove that and uh, remove this, oopsie. Remove one break tag here, save that. And let's try again. What have I done? Cell edit, let's see here. What is it complaining about? It's saying line 41, right? This is line 41. Oh, so the image thing still remained. What did I remove then? So image, ah, okay, okay, okay. So we're supposed to remove all of this. Let's see where this ends. Okay, there it is. Uh, boom. Remove that break tag. All right, and we really don't need to edit the barcode either. Uh, but in case you want to edit that, you can leave it there. But in our case, we don't. So let's remove barcode as well. Okay, doke. Okay, so those are the things you really need to be able to edit. So cancel that. There we go and edit, delete. Here you need to see more just to be sure what you are deleting. Okay, edit, okay. <clears throat> All right, so once we save that, we need to know that uh, things can actually change. So let's go to the cell edit and cell delete controllers just to be sure. So let's start with the edit. There's an ID there, new cell. Uh, we got that, that works. And then we validate and after validating, uh, we then update and then we go back to cell. So it looks pretty straightforward. Now this validation, we need to make sure that um, because some of this that's required here will not be there. So let's look here, quantity, amount, and description. Okay, so it's only three things, which means it's going to work as it is because all three things are here. Now in case, um, let's say for example, you remove the description. You don't want to edit the description. There will be a problem here because once you try to save, it's going to ask, description is missing it's going to say cell description is required so let's try that and see it in action i'll put two there just to save and as you can see it has changed which means it does work as an edit let me put it that back now imagine if we removed the description for one one reason or another i'll remove here temporary temporary there we go. 
so as you can see if i now try to save it won't work and that's because it's giving me an error but why isn't it showing there well because the error comes with the description so that's the problem now to fix this issue you have to go to the cell uh, validator here this is the cell uh, model and here uh, remember that uh, the validator has two parameters here. There's the data and then there's the ID. So what you can do is provide the ID. So let's go to the edit right here where we are validating. We are providing the ID, which is nice. So if we come back here, what we can do is tell it that if the ID is given, which means this is an edit process because when we are saving or inserting, we don't give the ID because we don't have an ID yet. So if we give an ID, it means we are editing. So we can use that to bypass this. So we can say something like if not uh, ID like this. Okay, let me move that. Okay. So if the ID does not exist, then you can check for the description because it means in that case where the ID does not exist, it means uh, we are inserting. So once I do this, it will work. So it means everything that uh, will be available in the insert but will not be available in the edit should be under this if not ID. So you can put all the checks that are for the insert only within these if statements. So if now I save, it will work, okay? So if I change the quantity to two and save, uh, there we go, it still works. But as you can see, the total has not changed at all, right? Let me edit this, you see, uh, three there, save, the total has not uh, changed. So we should fix that as well. So what I'll do here is um, edit. Uh -huh. So I'll remove this, what I've done here, because this was only for demonstrative purposes. Since we have the edit at uh, the description and we need to validate it, I'll come back to the cell edit and undo this removal of the description that I had done. So refresh, now we have a description as well and save. Now the only thing I need to do is make sure that I calculate the total before saving. Now since it will save whatever parameters I supply, if I go back to the cell edit here, right about here after the validation, and there are no errors whatsoever. What I can do right before I update here, I can check for the, I can add a total here. It's not there in this post thingy, but I can add it there. So I can do this and say post total. Okay, so I'm adding one more parameter here, which was not there in the form. Then I can say quantity and then multiply that by amount. So since both of these are, are there in the, in the post, luckily there's a quantity and an amount. Since we have them here, when you're editing, we have the quantity and amount. Now, if you need to multiply with something that does not exist here, but is already in the row, you can always read from the database using this, uh, format. Now, since we already read from the database this particular row, you can just get it from row itself. So let's say, for example, you were supposed to multiply by a value called receipt number, which is not there when you're editing here. This means that uh, you can't do this because it's not part of the post. So instead, you can use row like this and put it there. Okay because this is the row from the database. So like this, it's going to work. And let's try again. So three by 20 should be 60. And as you can see there, it has changed to 60 to update that. Okay, pretty good. 
Now let's look at the cashier here. We want a name for the cashier instead, right? And then we want a link just like we have on users so that you can click on the cashier's name and go to their profile to see who it is in detail. So if I hover on this, it says pages go to profile plus an ID. Okay, so that's not an, a big issue. So let's look at how we can get that on cashier. Uh, let's look at delete as well before I exit here and it seems delete will work just fine as well. We will test it shortly. Uh, but for now, yeah, what I want to do is, oh wait, I'm lost here. Okay, that's what we are doing. We want to deal with the cashier. So what we're pre presented with here is the cashier's ID, the user ID, right? If I go to my database here, click on users, I will see that this is representing the ID itself. So we can easily create something to help us um, get that value very quickly. We can use the user class right there and then get whatever uh, username that we want, right? Mm -hmm. So let's come back to, or what we can say is we can create a function where we say get user by ID, and then that function will do the rest for us. So it would be a function like this, for example, function get user by ID. And then we'll put an ID in there. And then in here, we'll just say uh, user is equal to new user. And then we are going to return, okay. Uh, now, uh, Let's return user, sorry, first and wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, this is what I needed here. Can't. Okay, so ID equal to ID, as yeah, simple as that. Okay. So get user by ID, copy that. And let's come back to the sales view in the admin. So admin sales view. And down here we have user ID, right? So instead of supplying this user ID instead, we'll use the function Let's do it right here, outside the box, right there, paste, okay. And then we'll use this user ID right there. Mm -hmm. Cashier. Okay, good. Now, there's a possibility that this will come back as not, uh, it won't be an object, okay? So we'll say if empty, we'll just check if it's empty. So if empty, cashier, then we're going to say name, is equal to unknown. Just in case uh, we don't get any role, we're going to return unknown. But else, which means if things are good, name is going to be equal to cashier. I often forget here whether we're using uh, object style or not. So it seems we don't use objects here. So this is username. 
So it's the username that we want really and the ID so we can have a link. So username, uh -huh. like that. Okay. And then uh, let's do this name link is equal to empty here. Yeah. Let's put a hash instead. Okay. But if a record exists, the link will be index.php, uh, pg is equal to profile, and id is equal to, and then we're going to concatenate an id, and that id will come from cashier. ID. Okay, so at least we have a name and a link regardless. So here, what we would do is put the name in here. So I'll put that name in there. And I want to put a link on the name as well. So let's move that backward here. Let's put the A tag, close this into the A tag like so. And then, of course, we'll put the name link. All right, then. Cool. Let's come back and see what we'll... Okay, so there we go. So if I click there, it takes me here. Yeah? Great. Maybe we should put a back button as well here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how it is. Now, for some reason, if it turns out that um, I can't, f I don't know the, instead of the user ID here, let's add a manually added ID, which does not exist. So we can see the unknown here. And there we go. So unknown doesn't take us anywhere. Okay. So it's working just fine. All right, very cool. So now we can edit, delete, and check who the cashier is, and then we can we are able to update the total even after the edit. So let's try and add one more uh, record here and try to delete it just to be sure that uh, we can actually delete some stuff and check out uh, two hundred. Let's try that. That's our change. Very good. Let me go back and let's see if the new record. Oh, wait. Where is the new record? Oh, oh. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, I see. Um. The, uh, this only shows one, two, three, four. Let me change this. Let's go back to the cells. Uh, where is this? In the admin. Product sales. Instead of four, let's put uh, maybe 20 records here. I think we can afford to have 20 records. Okay, that's good. Okay, so where is that record I had changed? It's this one with a three. Okay, that's the one right there. And these are new, you can see with the date. Okay, that is cool. But let's try and delete one of these. So delete and delete. Okay, so it actually worked. Very cool. All right, so, so far, so good. At least we know today's sales is working just fine as well. Now let's deal with our graphs and actually before we deal with the graphs uh, on the profile, is it the profile? We should be able to add an image once we click edit here and that's easy to do. So we're going to do that in the next video.